it went down in 2004, so I was I was still in high school, and um, I remember hearing about it, but it wasn't until I sort of got the script, and I that's when I researched more about it, and I watched a ton of footage of the courtroom stuff and news footage, and um, I became fascinated with the story. You know, we were filming it, and I'm sitting there in the courtroom, and you know, I'm watching everything happen, and especially looking at all the real footage. I was so torn because there's really only two people that know what really truly went down that night and that's Susan and her husband Jeffrey who's who's dead so you know you just don't really know um, and and you know to really play Susan and sort of step in her shoes I, I had to be sympathetic to her to her and um, it's just hard I think that people will either some people will agree with the prosecution and some people won't and I, it, it's you know it's sort of a big theme in the movie is like, what would you do in that situation? How, you know, what are human beings capable of? Or can they really be pushed to a point to sort of crack? I was terrified, actually. When I got the script, I, I sort of just like immediately tossed it away. I was like, I can't do this. Like just even looking at it made me sweat. I was like, I can't, this is too scary for me. I don't, I don't even know if I'm capable of doing this. And then I sort of gave it a second look and I was like, you know what? If I'm this scared to do this, then this is a real challenge. And as an actor, I'd be an idiot not to not to do this and try. And so I decided to go for it. And um, reenacting that night was it was it was it was rough. You know, I mean, we sort of just like dove into it. It's all you can really do. And we were all we were covered in blood. And you just try to like go to a dark place emotionally. I don't know. I mean, there's yeah, it was it was very intense and very difficult. I researched a lot on on domestic abuse, obviously, because Susan Wright was in that situation. And I'm lucky enough to have never been in a situation like that or know anybody in a situation like that in my life. Um, but I actually have been working with a with an organization called Shepherd's Door for several years now, and it's a it's a it's a organization that helps women escape domestic abuse in their lives. And it's sort of like an inter intermediate step to help them safely move on from a bad situation and um, talking to these women and hearing their stories you know I definitely feel like I you know I, I, I have a deeper understanding of it with every transition there's like a new set of challenges you know I mean now that I've been doing some more serious roles you know I'm I'm happy and I love to work in all different genres and do all kinds of things but now you know now people are like oh but can you be funny can you do comedy so it's, you know, there's always like a new set of challenges that are going to present themselves with like every transition. So, you know, I, but I definitely feel like, I don't know if I feel like a grown up, but I definitely feel like um, I'm sort of like moving on to becoming like a grown up and doing more adult roles.